the fall. Woman on me, only hit my name on the roll call. It's like there is no ground beneath my feet. I got no flaws. Uh, still humble, but just don't get it confused. You know who I am. It's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Birds and the Niners. And it's coming up next on Madden Football. It is a part of the country that could definitely use the rain, but it's also going to make for a very wet track tonight here at Levi's Stadium in Santa Clara, California. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the San Francisco 49ers. Welcome again, everybody, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and yes, the rain is falling now, and it is supposed to continue to fall throughout this game. So how do you think that will impact this contest? Well, first and foremost, both quarterbacks are going to make sure the officials have those dry footballs coming in each and every play and standing over them sometimes with a towel before the center gets up there to snap it. Second thing is the focus of all the guys who handle the football. Do they wear gloves? Do they take them off? Will they carry the ball high and tight to make sure they have good ball security? That's paramount in a game like this. The kicker, Jake Moody, has got it teed up. And we are underway now from Santa Clara. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. So now here comes the Eagles offense as they get ready to take over. They'll be led out by a Heisman runner-up during his college days. It's the versatile Jalen Hurts. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100-plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. Play action. Here's Hurts. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And the Niners get there and bring him down. There's Eric Armstead fighting his way through that time to record the sack. All right, partner, I'm going to be Captain Obvious right here. Not the start you're looking for offensively, right? Incomplete pass followed by a sack. And when he went down, it looked like that right ankle got turned, but thankfully he popped up okay, and they breathe a sigh of relief on that sideline. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. They'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. The defense shaking their heads. Not aggressive enough, and they allow him to convert a third and 18. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Looking for A.J. Brown again, and he's got it again. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball, and sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. They'll run the jet sweep with Brown. Oh, this one may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. Four 
yards the pick up first down well we've seen running backs in today's NFL get involved in the passing game maybe it's about time more receivers like that get involved in the running game and that is something we are seeing more and more in this league no question about it that wasn't the biggest of gains but it was enough to get them a first down and it continues to test the defense. They have to think on every play about who might end up with the ball. There to stop him on the defensive side, Fred Warner. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Throwing his hurts. Zacchaeus here hauling it in. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. They'll try and run here with Swift. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. Pickup leads to fourth down. Now we'll get a stoppage here as it appears we've got an eagle slow to get up. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Here's Jake Elliott, career long, by the way, for him, 61 yards. This will be from 56 yards out. And this kick is not going to be close. It's well short, well right to boot, and this will remain a scoreless game. Well, that opening drive looked good for a moment there, but they'll wind up being turned away thanks to the missed field goal. And those especially hurt when you come into a game on the road. You're trying to get things to go your way early, and now you suffer a setback right out of the gate. San Francisco's offense returns to the field. So the missed 56 yarder, and now the flip side. Good starting field position at the 46 near midfield. Purdy looking to throw on first down here. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield strike. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Now a second and six. First carry for Christian McCaffrey. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Here is third and five. Now Purdy. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And he is going to have a Niners first down by about a yard as they find a way to convert there on third down and five. Well, they kept it simple there, CD, only needing the short gain to move the chain. So they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Check, check, check. They like what they're doing early in the game. Just a gain of a couple there, and that'll make it second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Purdy looking to throw. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. The line to gain is the 33 on third down. 
And throwing here, Purdy. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. N'Kobe Dean with a big time sack on third down. It's a loss of seven. And they went empty backfield, and because of that, nobody was there to pick up the blitz. And you know that offenses, when they go with the empty backfield, they have different things designed on every play to try to account for things. But what people often forget, defense is audible as well. And a lot of times when they see an empty backfield, they audible right into a blitzing situation. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. And they were in field goal range the last time out, but couldn't connect. And it's early in the game, so I don't think that the confidence just goes entirely out of, you know, running your kicker back out there. But let's face it, some coaches have a little bit less patience for that than others. Let's see if they call the game differently now in terms of what they do on drives and not try and settle for field goals. On the ground, it's Swift to start the drive. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Here's Hurts to throw. He'll get this off to Swift. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And it's third and four now. I know it was a gain, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. That is caught. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Excellent play there on third down. Give them 25 yards. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 43. Hertz sets up to throw it. And now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And his guys will set up shop at midfield at the 50-yard line. So he went out of the pocket left, and then things got dicey. And what often happens is when they get outside, they want to keep their eyes downfield in order to try and complete a pass. But when they try to make a play, they've got to get their footwork involved. And that can really mess them up as well. And in this case, nothing went right, and the ball got knocked free. Good starting field position for the 49ers as they have it first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. Following the fumble recovery, Purdy. Open man is Samuel, complete. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and that's going to bring up second down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Well, he left no doubt about that one because even though he hasn't left the pocket, he's got a receiver in the area, so it's not grounding, even though there was no way that ball was going to be caught. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert, but right now looking at a third and three. Back to throw, Purdy. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a 49ers first down, and he was able to get it by plenty. A gain of eight on third and three. As an unbiased observer, 
I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moved. And yeah, they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he'll work his way inside the 30 now to the 28. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Now second and three. Purdy now to throw. This pass to Jennings, and he makes a catch. First time that they called his number tonight, and it gets him a first down. Here's Purdy. Over the middle, that's complete to McCaffrey. And yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. Just need a yard here, second and one. Purdy bootlegging it. Complete to the tight end, Kettle, over the middle of the field. And the 49ers are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight-yard line. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. From the eighth, they've got it first and goal. Purdy sets up to throw again. He'll get this to McCaffrey out of the backfield. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Oh, boy, Christian McCaffrey shaken up, so hold everything here as they're going to take a look at him. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. Up the middle, here's Mitchell. Seven big yards on the carry there to get him within range of the goal line with third down upcoming. When you look at the geography, we're staring at this part of the field. Don't you always think of big backs carrying the football, bruisers trying to pound it in? Instead, we're looking at a little more of a scat back type, and he's trying to make it happen. Yeah, they went with the elusive, slippery guy. Couldn't get in there, though. Come on, Mitchell. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. A loss of a yard, and it brings up four. This is a long drive offensively. Wouldn't you hate to end this with just three points? Doesn't it feel like during a ball game you have certain narratives going on and there's certain drives that seem to take on just a bit more importance than others? This feels like one of those, doesn't it? To me, three points here, a major letdown. This is the time to go and put six on the board. Going for it, it's Mitchell. And across the goal line, into the end zone, touchdown for the Niners. Elijah Mitchell taking it in from a yard out. And the Niners use the only turnover to get on the board first here in this one. An early decision point here, Charles. Maybe one we'll look back on later. They go on fourth and goal, and they punch it in for the touchdown. We always talk about how football is a game of confidence, and that's how you get it right there. Leave your offense out there and tell them I believe in you. And they pay it off with six points. The point after through the raindrops up and good. And that makes the score 7-0.
So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. Last time out, they had the fumble that led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points too, Charles, but they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch partner for both of those units, and they kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to them, get out there now and get some points on this drive. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession as they've got it with a first and 10. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. Second and five. Hurts. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. The offense on third down tonight, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. Birds fumbles it. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid gain to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. Ball on the 40 now. Here's second and three. Play action. Here's Hurts. Gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. On third down, here comes Swift. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. And this will be a long field goal if the skies were clear. But here in the rain and the elements, they'll go for it on fourth. They'll drop the throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. A big pickup of 12 yards on fourth down to keep this drive from stalling. And that's a big pickup of a first down. And you know that all week, both sides of the ball, offense and defense, are going through every situation. And in this case, the offensive guys had the right play dialed up because defensively, you work on fourth down situations as well. And deflating for the defense, they can't get the stop here. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play, it'll be second down. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A 
loss results there. Second and ten. They'll set up to throw. Yeah, he short arms that one just a bit. It's low and incomplete. But it looked like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. An incomplete pass on second down. That muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. A great effort there. 26 yards. And the Eagles are an extra point away from evening this one up. A nice connection there, finding his target, and that'll put six up on the board. Just like they drew it up in their playbook and reiterated it on the sidelines, right? Perfect route, a good throw in the defense. They had no answer for that right there. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So that one a long 11-play drive. The result, Philadelphia in the end zone. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. Here's Purdy on first and ten. He'll get this out wide here to McCaffrey. Takes this up just short of the 30, but he was able to avoid that earlier tackle. Nice move. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it'll be second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. On second down, McCaffrey. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. On third down, here's Purdy. And unable to connect. If he had caught it, it would have been a first down. Instead, it's fourth. I wonder, Brandon, I just wonder, you think maybe he was worried about where he was on the field? Was he far enough? Was he close enough to the first down sticks? Absolutely. He was right there by him, and I think he was thinking first down before he caught that football. Yeah, got to catch it first, because if you don't catch it, there's no chance of picking up a first down. Wisnowski on to punt as he sends this one away. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. They'll call that a 33-yard punt with no return. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10.
They go play action with Hurts. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. From the 44-yard line, here's second down at a yard. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. Airing it out deep for Smith. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Well, they have that one sniffed out defensively. That's a tough one to connect on when you got multiple defenders in the area, and it winds up incomplete. The offense on third down today, they've converted four times out of six. Not bad. They're up against a third and one situation. They'll try and pick it up by running the option to the right. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. A call it luck or skill, whatever the case is, they're feeling good about just keeping the football there. Yeah, the biggest thing that they're calling it now our ball. <laughs> I mean, they don't care if it was luck or skill, but the panic that jumps up in your chest when that ball's on the ground, whether you get it or your teammate gets it, just as long as you maintain possession, that's all you're looking for. First down, and they go with Swift again. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. From the 35, here's second and six. Now Hurts on the option right, and nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. Well, for them being an option play, there really weren't too many options available for him, were there? No, there weren't, and at least he was able to get back to the line of scrimmage, so they didn't lose anything, but you're exactly right. Nowhere to go. Throwing his hurts. They'll try and set up the screen to Swift. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. That's a third down conversion to 24 yards there. Nice play. And this pass rush has really been bringing the heat and has already gotten home a few times here in the first half. So how about the play call there? Sometimes if you can't protect, you've got to fool them. Screen passes like that can take a little steam out of what's been a relentless rush so far. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Swift going to try at the middle. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. DeAndre Swift taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Eagles have taken the lead. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up, meaning when you get on a guy, you just stay right there. And each guy has his own assignment. That allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. Elliott good with a PAT, and that makes the score 14-7. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And in the end, the finishing touch, an 11-yard run. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Oh, good return up past the 30. And San Francisco gets set to go here. That 7-0 lead of theirs short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. 
Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line, first and 10 at the 33-yard line. The play-action fake. They'll look to throw. He's got the hookup downfield to Samuel. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no game. Here's second and ten. Right now, let's go get oh, shot. Oh, get let's go, 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 go. McCaffrey running up the middle. And very little running room there. He did get a couple up to the 49. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Third and eight. Out of the gun, Purdy. The throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. 33 yards is the distance on the punt there. And the Eagles will be backed up deep to get the drive started as they take over first and 10. Well, let's shine the spotlight on the former Georgia Bulldog, DeAndre Swift, who's set to begin this next drive. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. He doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back. And that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 13. They'll start on the ground with Swift. And this has been a recurring theme tonight for sure. Nowhere to run. Back to the line of scrimmage, that's all. No gain on the play there. Second down. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support. And I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. And he's got a first down following a pickup of about 13 as we will take a pause here for the two-minute warning. On first down, Hurts. And he couldn't get that one to his man. Short of him, it's low and incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Now a second and ten. Hurts sets up to throw it. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. They run out of the gun with Swift. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. Oh, 
On fourth down, punt coming from Braden Mann. Fair catch signal for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. So first and 10 now from the 30. And throwing here, Purdy. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Josh Sweat rushing in and bringing him down to the ground. Well, they were coming out of the 4-3 defensively. Pressure coming off that right side from the DM. And that's the blind side of most quarterbacks. If you're right-handed, that's the side you don't see quite as well. And that's why you rely on your left tackle, maybe your highest-paid offensive lineman, to take care. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return and an Eagle touchdown. So the big fella gets on the scoreboard with a return for a touchdown. Good thing he didn't have to go too far, though. You know the trainers were very happy about that. Imagine having to go get him in the end zone, escort him to the bench, and give him the oxygen. They were loving the fact that he got in without having to run very far. Elliott on for the extra point. It's good, and it is now 21-7. to The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. As San Francisco's offense returns to the field. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Purdy to throw it on first down. Over the middle, complete to Samuel. They'll wind up getting just a yard, and it'll be second down. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air, and sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. Purdy looking to throw on first down here. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. And now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout 
And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Now a second and two. Purdy will set up to throw it here. Got a man, that's IU. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Final play of the half, Purdy. He's got Ayuk once again. And he's going to get this inside the 30. So we've reached halftime here, and it's our visitors, the Eagles, leading this one. As we'll send you eastward to Orlando, standing by with that EA Sports halftime report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports halftime report. We watched a solid performance out of running back DeAndre Swift. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. Okay, coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The 49er offense set to go to begin quarter number three. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well and they've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. here, second and a yard from the 34. Up the gut, McCaffrey. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. From the 41, here's second down and seven. This is McCaffrey on the give. A beautiful fake. And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. 13 yards there and a Niner first. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 46. 
And this time they'll throw it. Here's Purdy. This pass to Jennings, and he makes a catch. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Ball on the 39. Here's second and three. They run over center with Mitchell. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Get in the end zone, fellas. That can't stop you. Another run, this time McCaffrey. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Hit had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Here now, second and four. Now Purdy. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And Kittle going to have a 49ers first down as he'll be brought down just outside the red zone. Mark him at the 21. That one good for seven as this long drive continues and the chains move again. On first down, Purdy. That'll be caught by Ayu. Touchdown, 49. 21 yards away. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. An extra point try now for Moody. It's up and good. This becomes a 21-14 ball game now. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it was Brandon Ayuk capping it off with a touchdown reception. So after the made field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. But Charles, they still have the lead despite their defense giving up a touchdown on the previous possession. And, and even though they have that lead, it feels like a back-and-forth ball game where to try to get momentum back, maybe they need at least three here on this drive. I think you're right about that, Brandon, because your game plan doesn't change. But I do believe your urgency does because of the last score that went against your team. So what you want to do now is have your own drive and try and make sure that that momentum stays in your camp. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Hurts. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and give the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side 
and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. Dance into his left. And he's going to lose a yard or two, taken down behind the line. Chase Young able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. That's his second sack of the game in the best defensive ends. They do their homework as much as offensive guys do. They know how to beat the offensive lineman across from them, what moves they need to do to set them up. This guy's been pretty good at it all game long. On is the punter man as he boots this one away. Thirty-one yards on the punt there, and the Niners set up well. They take over first and ten on the short side of the field. Brock Purdy and the 49ers out for their next possession, and he had the touchdown on the last drive, also four for four. Very, very effective. What does he need to do to translate that forward into this drive? Not think that what he saw in coverages last time is exactly what he's going to get again. He's got to play ahead and start and start thinking to himself, okay. We just did that. What are they going to take away now? What do we go to as a counter and continue to encourage his offensive line to continue to give him time? They were really good on the last drive. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That's complete. It's Kyle Juszczyk. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. They'll get a dozen there, and it's a first down, 49ers. Good short hands there from a guy not accustomed to catching a whole lot of passes. But how about the way he was able to pull that one in and pick up good yardage? From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Purdy. Connects with Kittle underneath. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down for a nice little game. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Ball on the 28-yard line. Here's second down and three. Back to throw, Purdy. That's over the middle and caught by Ayuk. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 12-yard line. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field, and here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Once more, Purdy looking to throw. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Purdy looking to throw. He'll get this out right here to McCaffrey. And the Niners are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. But they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Purdy sets up to throw again. That is caught by the tight end kill. Touchdown, 49ers. Two yards on the touchdown there, and the 49ers are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, yeah, I give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. Moody good with the extra point, and we are tied at 21. A 
couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kicks away. Oh, a good looking return set up here. Running room at the 50. Look out. He might score. He will score. Touchdown, Eagles. It's been a back and forth game, a lot of points on the board, and that return right there kind of indicative of how this thing's gone. Well, you've seen both teams go at it, and as you just pointed out, both of them have found the end zone. But just like in boxing, you know the blow that hurts the most? The one you didn't see coming, and that often is the case when it comes in special teams. Elliott now to add the extra point. And it's good. That makes it a 28-21 game. And what a job there by all 11 on the kick return. The blocking excellent. The return excellent. The result, six points. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. And able to get this out to the 25. The 49er offense now making their way out onto the field. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown. On their last time out, looking to repeat that in Charles's defense, they were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated, they both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Here's Purdy on first and ten. That's caught out right by Jennings. They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. And the ball on the 30. Here's second and four. Purdy now to throw. Taking a shot for Samuel. And it's knocked away and incomplete. They geared up and took the deep shot downfield, but it turned out it wasn't one-on-one -on -one coverage. Extra defenders in the area, and that one winds up incomplete. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Here's Purdy. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Niners first down by about a yard as they find a way to convert there on third down and five. That was a round run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Purdy will look to throw again here. Slant route connects with Debo Samuel. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch at its second down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. The throwing here, Purdy. Connects with Kittle underneath. So give him two yards there on the completion. And now we've got a third and three. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. 
Here's third and three. Again, it's Purdy to throw it. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he is going to have a 49ers first down. And he was able to get it by plenty. A gain of eight on third and three. Waste of time. Short yardage situation. You have to wonder if they thought that they were just going to run it inside. But you have to be cognizant of the back slipping out in the backfield trying to find some open space. And that's exactly what he does to the tune of a first down. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Purdy from the gun. He'll get this into the hands of Ayu. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. Out of the gun, Purdy. Over the middle, that's complete to McCaffrey. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And now we've got a third and four. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. They converted twice on third down that drive already, but couldn't make it a third. We always talk about in-game adjustments. How about what the defense did there, able to shut them down on that attempt? Too long for a field goal, too short to punt that in-between range, and they'll go for it on fourth down. Shotgun now with Purdy. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. The Niners go for it, but it doesn't work out. And this 10-play drive winds up yielding nothing. Well, their first fourth down attempt earlier was successful. This one backfires for a turnover on downs. I like their aggressiveness. I like what they're doing. They got it the first time they went for it. Why not a second time? I don't think they'll be daunted from attempting it again. If you're on the defensive side of the ball, though, any fourth down stop is a big momentum play. I'll tell you, far from ideal conditions to play in, but neither offense has had much trouble. Plenty of points to go around. First and 10. Hurt sets up to throw it. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. On the option to give the Swift here. And a good pick up there. He gets about six up to midfield. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. Here is third down and four. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Normally on third down and short yardage, you're thinking to throw to your tight end. It's just going to be a simple chain mover. But this time they let him roam down the field. And a nice dart picks up the first down and then some. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. From the gun, here's Swift. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports.
Back now here in Santa Clara. It's the Eagles in possession of the football and leading this one as we get ready to start the final quarter. Second down, here's Hurts. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air and defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. The 22 is the line to gain here on third down. Throwing his hurts. And now another one thrown incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts. This time on third down. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. This to make it a two-score game. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So that's CD, an important one here in the fourth quarter. And that importance cannot be overstated. All eyes on both sidelines were staring that one down all the way. The significance is that they made it a two-score game. Still lots of time left to go, but likely that was their goal at the start of the drive. Get three points, make it a two-score game, and they were able to get it done. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. Oh. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Niners set to take over on offense. And the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game, so they need to get points out of this drive relatively quickly. Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line, first and 10 at their own 24. And he'll start by handing this off to McCaffrey. And a short pickup to about the 27. It'll be second down. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Second and six. All right, all right, let's control the clock here. Right now Purdy. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. The Niners on third down, not quite 50%, four for nine. This will be third and six. Purdy will set up to throw it here. Looking deep for Jennings. And that's caught inside the 35. A big third down play there for the Niners. And even 40 yards. And here's a spot where this offense says, we got to start making something happen. We're down two scores. It's the fourth quarter. We've got to start moving with some urgency. And here's a big play that gives them a ray of hope that they can get back in this one. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Operating from the gun, Purdy. That ball caught, Brandon Ayuk. And down inside the 15 he goes. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. On first down, Purdy. 
This is caught. Touchdown. Debo Samuel. Time to let those folks know who are tuning in looking for the late local news. And we may be a moment because we've got a game again. And pardon, except for those on the West Coast where it'll be seen in its regular time, right? That's the way it works, doesn't it? But how about that? Big time drive right there. If they're going to have any chance, they needed a touchdown there. And they went right down the field and worked their way into the end zone. Now Moody for the PAT. And the lead is down to a field goal now. So that drive spanned five plays. And it's Debo Samuel who caps things with a touchdown reception. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. Breaks through the contact. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Here comes Eagle offense now as they get set to take over here. Things sure were looking good for him at the half. Heck, off the air, you and I were just saying they might run away with this thing and cruise to a victory. Not anymore. Yeah, the cruise control has to be off at this point. Now you've got to mash the gas yourself. Again, who's going to step up and make a big play for you? Who's going to take care of business now that you're being pressed? It is definitely go time for them at this moment. All of a sudden clinging to a slim lead and hoping to hold on to that lead. Play action. Here's Hertz. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. That was for the lead right there. They know they're in a position where fortune favors the Brave. So they took their shot but couldn't connect. Second and 10 now from the 27. Hurts. Zacchaeus here hauling it in. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. A big pickup there for the Eagles first down, 18 yards. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as... I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. An ideal spot here to get a first down and try to run some more clock, and this is second and less than a yard. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Okay, I'm not quite sure how to judge that one. Maybe didn't have enough legs underneath him. Mechanics might have been off. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. Yeah, fourth quarter. Maybe you do start to watch as the arm there, the leg's still there. This has been a tough game. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. They'll try and run here with Swift. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. 78 yards rushing for him in the ball game now on 14 carries. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football gain some yardage and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. On first and 10, it's Swift. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. 
Nick Bosa using that speed to get in there and break that play up. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Once again, it's Swift. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Here's Hurts to throw. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. A good pick up there, 21 yards. That is an absolute backbreaker. That was a design passing play, wasn't a draw. You think you got him stopped, good coverage downfield, and he's able to pick up the first with his legs. Defensively, that kicks into your psyche and hurts a little bit, doesn't it? It certainly does, and, and here's the thing. Anytime you give up a first down, it hurts you psychologically, but it hurts more when they get it this way because you've covered everything. He didn't have any place to throw the football. He takes off running and picks it up anyway. And now you have to stay on the field for an extra set of downs. And really could have used that stop trailing here in the fourth. Call it no gain on the play and it'll be second down. And his carries tonight, they're getting up there. So maybe one of those every now and then is understandable. I would agree with that. Understandable every now and then. Sometimes you come back and you fake it to him and go play action. But other times you say, okay, they got him on that one. We'll come back to him in another carry. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. Completes to Zacchaeus. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. search of four yards here to pick up the first down from the gun it's hurts I uh, had a man open but he missed him and it's incomplete so decision time now because a field goal keeps it a one score game what are you thinking well I'm looking at the down and distance and that's where the issue comes in it's not short enough that it's a no-brainer and you go for it you have to analyze this one to me you take the field goal, take the points. I don't think you want to risk coming away with nothing. The kick by Elliott is good. And that will double their lead as it's up to six. So that gets him a little bit of breathing room, but not much. And you have to think back to the field goal that he missed earlier. This would be a two-score game right now if he had converted then. And if you and I are thinking about it, you know he is as well. Because in the back of his mind, he's thinking... I hope I get one more shot in an important spot. He just made that one. He wants one more later to truly make up for the earlier miss. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Well, the 49ers settling in for their next drive. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. From the 25, here's second and four. Purdy looking to throw. A throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. 
Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. The offense on third down tonight. They've hit on half of them. Five for ten. This is third and four. Purdy. Got a man right side. It's McCaffrey. And he is going to have the Niners first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Purdy will look to throw again here. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. They'll give it up to McCaffrey. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. 63 yards rushing for him now. And that was his 10th carry of the ball game. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now. But that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 35-yard line. Here's Purdy. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Mitchell. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. And here we are in the fourth quarter. Parker, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there. Not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. And that is dropped. Oh, my goodness. That could have been a game changer, but he could not hang on. Oh, man. Late in a tight ball game, every play so critical, you feel like you've got to find a way to come up with that football. That was put in a great spot, but it just didn't want to stick in his hands. That's a big letdown. Back to the air on second down, Purdy. The tight end, Kittle, has it on the left side. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. This a big play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. Purdy now to throw. And he's wrapped up. Taken down. Back at the 25. Jalen Carter in there to drop him for a six-yard loss, and that will lead to fourth down. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has not received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. Purdy, big fourth down play. Staying up, and he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. on the football here as they run on first down. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight.
He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Still needing 10 yards. Now it's third down. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. That is caught, and that should do it. He's got a first down, and the Eagles, they can run it out from here. take a knee here. Second and 11. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. And now the question everyone's wondering, look at the clock, late fourth quarter, do they put the ball in the air here on third? I don't. I run the football, and I tell my offensive line, no leakage up front. I don't want my running back hit as I hand the ball off to him. I don't want any type of an issue. But if I am going to throw it, quick throw out to the perimeter, Maybe one of my best receivers running a quick slant or something like that. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. This is taken at the 18. A fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah, the effort, that was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Couldn't get it done, but a nice game overall. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say good night from Silicon Valley.